Hi, this is Universal 144. Date doesn't matter. Uh, this is just going to be a collected. What you should know for your highest good only whenever you come across this. Something's going to like uh, have like a breaking period um, in a positive way. So it's like a break in the clouds type thing. So when the break in the clouds happens, there's something that it's like an epiphany in a way, but it's just a realization. It's not like, oh, great idea. I'm going to do that. No, it's um, a realization of maybe like a reality that you, you assumed or something. Um, it's like a shining light moment. And that moment's going to be very important um, for those of you that have that. Because I feel as though um, there's been like this clouding of whether it's thoughts or whether it's emotions or whether it, I don't know. It's kind of like a scattered energy. Um, maybe uh, been a little bit too much in your head. I, I could see how that happens, you know, during this time. It's just a break for you to like see something as it is, not as it was portrayed. Okay. And this will this will assist you to uh, make a make a few choices, decisions, um, reroute is what I'm getting, <laughs> like reroute. Um, when it happens also, don't don't be sitting there like sitting on it, okay? There's something that's like time time sensitive for you. So for you to take action, okay? Or make a call about something. It's in that window of time, like the break in the clouds. When, um, I don't know why I'm hearing that song. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> like, um... This is like somebody coming out of their emotions, okay? Uh, maybe you have been doing quite a bit of healing, like inner work, right? Like in solitude a lot, and this this part of the healing journey, right, is complete. So when that cloud break comes, when the clearness within, you know, all this crap The decision, whatever decision um, you don't choose to, to do that you know is for your highest good, okay? Whether or not it's uncomfortable for you or not, it doesn't matter, right? Because nothing's really comfortable that's worth while. Um, there's always, you know, doubts and stuff like that. Well, are you going to doubt your whole life or are you going to make a decision um, to do something for your highest good that you know needs to be done, okay? Whatever it is. It's just basically reiterating you. I don't know why it's giving me a timeline, but it's like a looping will happen of a repeat of the same events over and over for a long period of time. Also, I'm getting somebody, this could just be a uh, towards business idea, okay? Or um, your calling, right? Your life path. Somebody has this, it's not charity. It's not like a charity organization. Um, maybe it's going to be labeled that, I don't know. But there is something that you can make a business off of. that helps less fortunate in a certain situation. I don't know if this is um, 
Well, of course, we have holidays coming, so we do have the food drive stuff and this and that. Um, and I'm seeing trucks, so. My uncle, um, one of my uncles did this a long time ago um, for the, the churches up here. So he, uh, he bought this uh, uh, commute bus like that you would use for the airport shuttle, a shuttle bus. And because it was so bad in the winter time and a lot of people couldn't get out to go to the food bank, he delivered the food to them. And a lot of people with this economy and stuff, um, gas prices, I don't know where you guys, like it could be anywhere, but up here, <laughs> it's pretty nasty in the winter time, you know, and maybe some people don't have the money to have winter tires and stuff, so they can't get out or whatever. But it's like the list of people that need assistance, right, or that usually, it's like transportation, it's something about transportation transportation um, in the community but anyway my uncle he had he did that and he just rode off the shuttle bus throughout the whole winter because it was a really bad winter and he would just drop it off to their doors because nobody else was doing it Yes, it benefits you, you know, whatever this is, it benefits you, yes, and it assists you, but it creates a balance wherever there was some sort of imbalance with karmic debt here, okay? This is like lineage stuff too, like bloodline stuff. Whatever this is that you have the epiphany of, the thought form, get on it. Um, go apply for whatever you have to apply for, LLC, this and that, to do this uh, during this time. It's a balancing of, of karmic debt. So, and it's also really good for whoever this is doing this um, because it declutters your mind. It's, it also clears out like all the false beliefs that you've thought about yourself because the people you're gonna meet, like I don't know if you're gonna do what I just said, but something like that. Um, the people that you're gonna meet, um, you know, that usually don't ask for help or this and that. It, it's, it's connecting you through energetics plus eye contact with them. And it like warms you. Like it's almost like it brings back your soul in a way, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. It like lights you back up. It gives you back your, um, it gives you back your spark, right? This is a lot of solar plexus type energy. So anybody who's been, um, really imbalanced in that area plus heart chakra um this is going to going to assist you to heal more and it assists you to get out and meet people that you wouldn't otherwise meet by doing something good but it still benefits you too right like i don't know the write-off or whatever it is right um it's a really big deal it like brings your connection back to humanity for those who have lost it okay so and instead of like being in a slump this winter um and by the way i'm not using tarot i'm just using these um these cards there it's an astrology deck right? so um yeah I also feel like when you're when you're in the process of building this, implementing this, taking action on this, you may, you <laughs> you will not may you will have people um, that have ignored you for a very long time or put you off for a very long time. All of a sudden, want to be in your energy, and I've talked about this. When you have that happen, that that's actually like the blessing, right? Because then you know who the people are. And I don't even think it's like, they don't even, mm -mm. most are not aware of this, that they do this. The energy vampires and this and that. And people who do not want to see you, um, you know, happy in a way. Th those people are the ones that you can really say, okay, now I see. Because the only time that those people are around you is when um, 
you are about to embark on something really high vibe positive or you're doing something that is uplifting or that um, when you're elevating in whatever way, right? Spiritually, emotionally, mentally, um, financially, okay? When you're in balance and you're embarking on something, it's like these people are around, but when you're, you know, up shit creek with no paddle, nowhere, crickets, okay? So you're gonna be able to recognize these individuals and don't be judgmental, okay? They have a purpose just like you do. Just focus on yours. All right, that's all I have.